Hi guys, Jamie Blewett here from JB Military Antiques. Today we're going to talk about our auction number 15. I'm going to run you through some items that we've got coming up for sale. Uh, the auction will be starting at 9 o'clock in the morning at JB Military Antiques at Unit 2, 135 Russell Street, Morley in Perth. So if you're looking to bid with us, you can bid online, you can bid in the room on the day, you can send an absentee or a phone bid and uh, we hope that you are lucky enough to get some of the good stuff we've got here today. So first of all, we're going to start with uh, the lots in sequential order. We'll start with our German medals. Now we start off with lot one with an 1813 Iron Cross second class from Germany. One of the very few I've ever seen in my life and the rarest of the Iron Crosses. We've got a number of metal groups uh, stretching from Imperial Germany, so the 1870s through to 1945, that will be coming up. So for those of you who like your German military, there's a lot of items that you can look at buying today, including a Allied bring back a German cross in gold with the case that was uh, gifted to one of the uh, British Army officers for service post-war in Germany. Now, for those of you who are looking to uh, buy these sorts of things, uh, there's no restriction on selling uh, third right material. And we can certainly send out any of these items to you anywhere in the world. They're getting harder and harder to find. And as you, as you know from all of our auctions, we guarantee authenticity on absolutely everything we sell. And that's for life. So if you have a problem, send it back to us. And under the terms and conditions, we'll have a chat to you and we'll refund you. So you can bid with confidence. Uh, as well as the uh, German medals, we, uh, we've got a whole lot of uh, German daggers in the auction. So I've had a couple of collectors bring in their items for us to sell for them, which is part of what we do in the auctions. So we've got just about uh, any arm of service from uh, Germany you can imagine. It's all the way from Weimar era through to... Uh, the end of the Second World War. One of the nice, nice pieces is uh, one of the uh, presentation fire axes that the German firemen got, usually upon promotion or on retirement. And that is an absolute cracking piece. Probably dates from about the 1930s. Um, and just quality, quality, quality. Something that's about 90 years old now. Uh, so... Yep, so you can, we've also got a whole lot of uh, Japanese uh, short swords and we've got our share of uh, Russian items and Middle Eastern pieces as well. For those of you who are interested in uh, headgear, we've got uh, a good selection of helmets and caps coming up for sale, uh, including a first pattern, second pattern paratrooper helmet a attributed air marshal's cap from the second world war as well as your german helmets and a sniper shield for the uh, attachment onto the m16 17 or 18 helmets we've also got a named u.s admiral's cap from world war ii as well as the usual selection of german and world helmets for those of you interested in uh Firearms, we've got deactivated and replica firearms for sale as well, including uh, black powder pieces, including the famous brown best musket, and that's attributed to the Cambridgeshire uh, unit in the UK. Got a good selection of swords, ranging from Britain to Germany and Japan. Uh, we've got some good German swords here, uh, including some... Uh, European swords and American swords. Um, for those of you who are interested in really, really, really nice pieces, uh, we pulled one out today and it's a Scottish Dirk attributed to an officer of the Highland Light Infantry. Probably around the, the time King George V uh, was, got his coronation uh, squared away. Uh, just after Edward VII died. So we're talking probably 1911 through to about 1913 pre-war. And you can see the finely etched details on that blade. It's an absolute stunning piece made by Wilkinson Sword of London. And it's 
etched on both sides, including battle honours and a family crest, and there's attribution to the member in the catalogue. It retains its eating implements, so you've got your knife and fork, and you've got your ornate scabbard, which shows good, honest wear, and it's one of the finest pieces we have ever seen. The citrine stones are unblemished and free of any damage, as are those on the two eating implements here. So a really fine piece, and we're really excited to have it in the auction. For those of you who like the big bang bang gun sticks, we've got a boys anti-tank gun here. Uh, it's deactivated, but you can still operate the trigger and the cocking mechanism. We've got a Shuey FJ42. We've got an MG42 replica, and we've got our assorted other pieces uh, that you can uh, associate with those there. Uh, again, most of those we can send out without any issues. If you do have any special instructions upon wanting them sent out, we can certainly take care of that. Uh, as I said, we've got a good selection of brown, uh, of, of black powder pieces, including pistols and grenades, including uh, this piece here, which was obviously uh, a special piece made for the millionth grenade made. So the millionth grenade made in 1944. So a special piece probably sat on the director's uh, desk somewhere, but a lovely piece that could be sitting on your desk. Again, don't need a license for any of these pieces in Western Australia and you can buy them freely as with all of the pieces in our auction without any form of license. Moving on, we, uh, we look at our uh, photo albums. Uh, ammunition and accessories with pouches, holsters. We've got three nice hook and bayonets there. As well as our selection of Japanese swords. So we've got some Japanese swords in the hundreds of years. So uh, a lot of those pieces are, are marked to the Smith. And uh, probably my favorite sword in the entire auction is the early 1800s blue and gilt infantry saber with the double edged blue and gilt blade the finest i've ever seen absolutely fine and for something that's well over 220 years old something in that condition i only hope i look as good as that when i'm that age so i believe this is starting at a thousand dollars and uh from memory this set back the vendor in the tune of about 15,000. So that will be uh, watched with some interest. For those of you interested in the, the uh, uniforms and accoutrements, we have a good selection of German World War II uniforms, uh, including a very rare Hermann Goering Panzer wrap, an SS Panzer wrap, and an SS officer's Leibstandard Adolf Hitler uniform. Um, complete with the cuff titles for each, as well as uh, a very rare German standard, one of about 400 that uh, were utilized during the Third Reich. And each one of these was uh, consecrated with the blood flag with Adolf Hitler as the bearer. So a rather rare example of one of those and certainly one that I have not seen for many, many years. Uh, there has been a good collection of German, of German Commonwealth and World Bayonets that have also come into the auction. And that's part of a collection that we will be hosting for sale over the next few auctions. Many are rare, unusual pieces that we have not seen uh, certainly here in Australia for many years and from one unique collection.
And just to finish off the uh, the look at what we've got today, we've got a really nice selection of British, Australian and Commonwealth awards and badges. And starting off, I think, with the first lot, we've got the Grand Cross set, the Order of St Michael and St George, including uh, the Breast Star and the Sash Badge with a full sash. Um, many of these pieces have come from the same collection and... Uh, We've been given instructions to sell all of them. So we have very low starting prices for these pieces. And again, you know, there's some items in here that are quite unique and rarely come up for sale. We've got a First World War Australian military medal and bar group to a stretcher bearer uh, that's quite unique. And uh, to find an MM and bar group anywhere to an Australian is rare. As well as a killed in action casualty group to a person that won the Distinguished Service Order who was an Australian Colonel in the 39th Battalion. So the auction will give everyone a chance to, uh, depending on your budget, buy some unique pieces. And um, I just wanted to finish off by showing you one group that amazed me when I pulled this one out of the box. And it's a Crimea Metal Group in the personalised case with the helmet plate uh, to the 30th Regiment of Foot, to one of the officers there. And it just shows you the quality that these uh, pieces were made to. And, um, you know, over 170 years of its lifespan, it's still in the original box with the original pieces in there with relevant mi miniatures. And it just is a stunning, stunning piece. So look, guys, Here's your opportunity to get into the uh, collecting market, if not already. For those of you who are die-on-the-wall collectors, I'm sure you can't wait for Sunday the 25th of June to get, get bidding. You can bid live now via invaluable.com. If you have any questions or you'd like to look at the full catalogue with photos or access the PDF catalogue, visit www.jbmilitaryantiques.com.au. And we wish you the best of luck in the auction and hope you grab a bargain. Thanks very much. See you next time.